Hey guys, it's Lauren here and look what I've got. I have six months of the beautiful Hip Kit Club kits and this is all my leftovers from what I've been creating. Uh, the beautiful thing about the Hip Kit Club is you get a new box delivered on your door every month and you just want to bust into it because it's so exciting and all you've got all these new beautiful products that all coordinate so beautifully. And I've ended up with this. I don't know about you guys, other Hip Kit Club subscribers out there, but or any hit, any club like scrapbooking club subscription, do you guys find that you end up with bags of this? Let me know in the comments and let me know how you or you know what you do to avoid this. Um, but this is what's happened to me, so I thought today I would share with you how I'm going to organise this because this year, 2019, is going to be my kit busting year and I want to be able to create lots of projects, have everything on hand and use up all this beautiful product here. I actually feel a little bit guilty about having it sitting here in bags and not using it. So this year I'm going to, by the end of it, I'm hopefully going to feel guilt free and have lots of this product scrapped into beautiful projects and some of those projects I'll get to share with you. So I thought I would uh, share with you how I'm going to sort and organise this. Uh, yeah, so this is from September, October, November, December and January. And I just got a notification there to say my February kit is arriving tomorrow. So I got some super motivation and thought I'm going to get stuck into this kit busting, kit sorting, so I can be prepared to really utilise this beautiful product over the next coming months. Alright, so let me know what you think and how my organisation comes together. I've pulled out a an IKEA box. This is the box that I usually um, have my monthly kit in. So this is just going to help me be a tool today to sort things. I thought I'd use that for papers and you know when you're sorting and little bits go everywhere so I thought I'd use that. And I've also managed to pick up some tubs. Here they are. Um, to pop things in and get organised um, and I'm hoping they will make this process really easy and we'll see how I go. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so hey guys, this I'm I'm done. And it actually surprised me. It didn't take me as long as I thought. I actually thought I was going to be here for possibly hours, but it hasn't taken me any time at all. So what I've done is, as you can see, they're all my offcuts, and I'm going to really try and proactively use those up on the next coming layouts. So that's those. I just felt I needed to keep Christmas together. They're such beautiful papers and beautiful coordinating embellishments that I just want to keep those together and hopefully I'll get a few more Christmas layouts done or even just punch out some Christmas cards to um, just to, to use that up. Here's all the playing card stock. I've put that in colour order so I can quickly grab it and go straight to the colour that I want to coordinate. I sorted the pattern papers into sort of bright and a bit vintage kind of feel. So I knew that if I were picked up a photo and it was really hap a happy time or really bright colours that I would grab the bright pack. Or if I was scrapbooking something that had more warmer tones and a bit of a vintage feel, I can grab the vintage pack there. So I've divided those into those two themes. And to keep with those themes, I also sorted my embellishments to that as well. So all my Project Life cards are there because I'm going to be using those in my 2019 album. I've kept Christmas together. Here's the vintage embellishments. Here's all the brights. So I'll grab the brights paper, the brights embellishments, and I'll be ready to go. And just, these are a couple of vintage ones, so I'll grab those when I do that. And I've got my stamps there, and just these few little bits and bobs, um, obviously in the vintage and obviously in the brights. So I'll try and do some, maybe a couple of grid layouts using those to use those up. And also these will all move into um, either bright or vintage. I'll grab those out there. Um, I'll pop those away. There. There. All right. So that's that little box there. That's the papers. Now with the... Um, the larger embellishments here. I've popped, oh, I just love all these cute little alphabet puffy stickers. Um, so they're all staying together and I'll just grab them when I need to. I've put all sort of tidal themed uh, thickers in one section. I've put all my alphabets in another section. I've put all my chipboard and um, sticker sheets in the next section so I can easily grab this when I've got my photo and I've picked my papers and I've pulled out the embellishments I'll just quickly flick through see what I want as a title see pull out any alphabets and of course any embellishment stickers that I want there so that big mess has turned into three piles of organisation. That's six months worth of leftovers from the Hip Kit Club <laughs> Tongue tied. Hip Kit Club kits. So I hope this has inspired you to pull out your bags of kits and just spend a little bit of time uh, putting them all together so you can quickly grab them and um, get those fantastic layouts done. Alright guys, hope this has been helpful. Take care. Bye.